Hello everybody, I'm Lag and welcome to another episode of How to Foxhole. In this episode, we're going to be talking about engineering. If you find this episode helpful at any time, hit that like button, it helps me out a lot. In my previous video, we talked about logistics. Engineers work together with logistics players to get materials. Although some engineers sometimes prefer to get their own materials, how you get your materials is up to you. So, what does an engineer do? One, they plan the layout of defenses inside towns. Number two, they make roads safe for logistics. Number three, they fortify the front line so pushes don't lose ground. What does an engineer need? There are three main things that an engineer needs to do their job properly. The first and probably the most important is a hammer. You can't build anything without it, so make sure you have it. Always equipped. Two, you need a revolver. You have to protect yourself since your number one slot will be taken up by your hammer. You won't be able to use a rifle or anything else. Number three, basic and refined materials and a truck to carry them around in. What structure should you build as an engineer? There are several structures, but let's go through the most important ones. Barbed wire is the bane of infantry. If used properly, it can slow down an enemy push to a crawl and buy your troops some needed time to maneuver around. Also, you can use fences. Fences keep things in or out. Fences can be upgraded to walls using B-mats and all the way to tier 3 fortress walls if you have some refined materials on you. Gates are tougher than fences that can be opened and closed, but gates can't be upgraded. The next and probably one of the most important things in the game is foxholes. Foxholes will slow down enemy infantry and trucks, but they're not so good against half tracks. Foxholes will target within a 360 degree radius, but don't have much firepower. Next is watchtowers. Watchtowers let you know where the enemy is and in what direction they're coming from. Next are pillboxes and AT turrets. Pillboxes are used to slow down troops and vehicles. Pillboxes have more firepower than a foxhole, but they only fire in one forward direction, so don't put them backwards. AT turrets have more firepower than pillboxes and are used to stop vehicles such as half tracks or trucks. An AT turret can fire in a 360 degree radius, but turn slowly to the target and have been known to destroy friendly structures, so don't put them close to important things like outposts, town halls, or walls. Garrisons are one of the newest structures in the game and should be built immediately. They are part building and part foxhole. They are stronger and allow you to fire from the top floor. Garrisons are scattered around in strategic places in towns. Press E to start building them. Next are outposts. Outposts can be seen on, on the world map and do several things. They can be used as spawn points for your troops, and they can also stockpile supplies brought to the front by your logistics players. Outposts are tough, but they are not invincible. If your outpost gets destroyed, the items inside the stockpile are gone. So make sure you protect them or you're going to lose your stuff. Here's a few tips for you guys. You can use foxholes and pillboxes or garrisons for cover, but if they're destroyed while you're inside of them, you will die. Also just like the logistics tutorial, don't drive your truck directly up to the front. You might hand over a whole bunch of materials to your enemy that your team doesn't want them to have. Instead, park your truck in a safe place and walk your materials up inside your inventory. Also, speaking about fronts, be ready to move out in a moment's notice. Since war fronts are dynamic, uh, some place that was safe 10 minutes ago might not be safe anymore. So be ready to GTFO. Also, place your structures in a pattern uh, and not close together, or also not too far apart. You want your defenses to pile on the damage, but not destroy each other. Also, when you're in the front, place storage boxes around where the action is so your troops can loot dead bodies and take some of the pressure off of your logistics players. The latest patch also just introduced destructible buildings. It's not just town halls that can be destroyed anymore. 
So place defenses around your factories and your workshops and uh, places like that. So that way they don't get destroyed. If they do get destroyed, you're going to have to go ahead and uh, re-tech them up. So you want to avoid that as much as possible. Well, guys, that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or if there's anything I've missed, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and stay updated for new episodes. And until next time, this is like saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.